Hi, my name is Kazra, and I'm so excited to introduce you to the Blocks platform that my team and I have been working on for the past few years. We created this platform because we want to make it 10 times easier to build useful solutions on top of Airtable. I'm not talking about marginal enhancements to the core product, but a complete reimagining of what Airtable can be and how software can be created. I think the best way to explain what I mean is with an example. Let's say you're an experienced video producer and you're looking for a film production app for your studio. This is a really important piece of software for your business, but it's unlikely you'll find exactly what you need off the shelf. So you decide to build it yourself. Let me show you an Airtable base we've put together with zero lines of code. Out of the box, Airtable gives you a database with a great editing interface, user permissions, real-time collaboration, and a whole lot more. This is already a great start, and any video producer can create a base like this. But how do we take it to the next level of functionality? This is where the Blocks platform comes in. With Blocks, you can add custom code to your database and make it behave like a real app. Let's say our directors decided to add a, a few more scenes for the shoot at the last minute. We'll need to scramble and send out all of our location scouts. Or maybe we don't. Google has invested countless hours and resources into creating Street View, and they expose all of it through an API. So let's leverage that and add a powerful virtual location scouting feature into our app. I'll start by building a custom block. You can start from scratch or remix any of our open source blocks. I'll use the URL preview as my starting point. You develop blocks locally using our command line tool. This means you can keep using your favorite IDE, version control system, and all the other tools you know and love. All right, I'm going to open my code editor, and the first thing I'll do is delete the parts of the URL preview block that we don't need. All we care about is the logic that lets us update the UI when the selected record changes. So here it is. When the selected record changes, our component will re-render, and it'll either show a message to the user telling them to pick a record, or it'll render this record preview block that we'll be modifying to make our block. All right, so let's make a Street View preview show up when we select a record in our filming locations table. First, I'll import my Google Maps API key. And now I can use, I can update the preview component to show a Street View embed by pulling in the latitude and longitude from the selected record. All right, let's see how that looks. Every time I save my file, the block will automatically reload so I can quickly see my changes. And there we go. Uh, just by changing a few lines of code, we can click around the filming locations and see an interactive preview almost as though we were there in person. This is already super useful, but it'd be great to know what the weather is like in each of these locations. So to save time, I've already written a simple React component that uses the Open Weather Map API to pull in the weather for a given latitude and longitude. Right now, it shows the temperature and the description, but this API actually returns a lot of other information that we could show if we wanted. I'll import my weather API token, and now we can drop that weather component at the bottom of our block. All right, let's see how that looks. Cool, so now we have the information we wanted, but I think it could look a little better. I'll use some of the styling props that come with the Blocks UI library to do that. Oh yeah, that's much better. Cool, so now we have the temperature and the weather pattern as we choose between different filming locations. And you can imagine how this might get even better. For example, we have the shoot start date, so you could show the forecast for that date instead of the current temperature. But we'll leave that for another time. The last thing I want to add is a button that lets me send a text message to my crew so they know where to meet me next. 
We'll use the Twilio API to do this. Here's a simple component I wrote that lets you send text messages. Let's quickly walk through how it works. When you click the button, it'll load all the records in our crew table. It'll go through each record and pull the phone number out, and then it'll make an API call to Twilio to send a text message. It renders this button that comes with the UI library. The Blocks UI library has lots of useful components that you can configure and use to make your blocks look great. All right, so now that we've got our button, let's drop it into our UI. We'll put it right next to the weather information. And the message we want to send is, hello, please meet, and then we'll put in the selected address. All right, let's check out how this, how this looks. There's our button, and when I click it, it'll actually send a text message to everyone in that crew table. There we go, we just built a great virtual scouting experience in our film production app in less than 10 minutes, and we can deploy it with a single command. Imagine how much effort it would have taken to build all of this from scratch. The value of building on top of Airtable is that you can avoid reinventing the wheel over and over again, and instead focus your effort on what makes your app truly unique. We're so excited to see what you all build. Please take some time to look at the examples and the docs, and get in touch if you have any questions. Thank you and good luck.